starters, I need to kind of introduce Ken. I'm sure you've all heard his name over and over and over again. But not only is he great at growing things, propagating, he basically changed the industry. For years, everybody packed tubers in sand, or sphagnum, or peat moss, or whatever. When he's at the UT, he used to have to keep about 10,000 baby jars. And every month, recheck them, make sure they weren't all moldy and nasty. This guy figured out a way to do it much better. And we're getting ready to show you. So not only are you gonna learn something, but you're gonna come up here as a group and just kinda of hang around with you. It'll be as much talking as it will be question and answer to let you see how you can take tubers and store them for long periods of time. And I'm not talking two months. He pulled one out for me two years ago just to show me something. It was eight years old. All it had was two little green tips on it. I came back five weeks later, there was four plants. Now imagine that. How many of you can store a tuber for eight years and successfully grow it? So without further ado, here's Ken Landon. <laughs> Very much, and thank you for uh, coming and seeing the display today. Uh, what I have to do, or I had to do for the University of Texas, is uh, acquired storage of, uh, as Tim mentioned, many jars that were sealed in plastic or paraffin. What uh, what we found was that uh, sometimes the jars would mold and deteriorate anyway. The ratio of sand per water was one to uh, three to one, or thirty to one, one being the water. And that would keep tubers mostly, 40% of our tubers that we would pack that way would make it. And some of the primary gardens, that's what they still do today. But I didn't like doing all that because I had other things to do besides store jars. So uh, I found a way, it's very simple, that uh, we're going to pass on to everyone as to how to store these tubers. First, you have to have the uh, ability to grow one. And growing these things uh, is sometimes a little bit different. I use the fertilizer that Wayne makes, the 7803, at about a, a quarter of a, of a teaspoon uh, in the bottom of the pot, or mixed in with the soil matrix, and plant the plant up, and then let it grow to adulthood. And the sun, as much as I can get as much sun on the leaf, and within three or four uh, months, you'll have a strong tuber that will render three, three or four or five plants. Uh, so that's what we do at the IWC for the IWC and the IWPR, the Preservation Repository. We have to have a way to save some of this material over long periods of time. Uh, I have an idea of what I will be growing next year and the year after that, excepting for the new material that comes on that we show. Uh, we have tubers or some of the material in stock that has been in, in stock or in storage for 10 years. But we don't keep the 10-year lilies unless or we keep them in that situation only if we have a lot of supply of that particular one. Primarily, we like to grow things and regrow them in every three to five years. But we can store them for three years easily without any problem at room temperature, without any, uh, anything to do other than to go ahead. We have a, the girls check the lilies or the tubers about once every uh, year, maybe every eight months. We'll run a check on the tubers and run through the whole, uh, what, we had, what we had done the, uh, the, for the previous three years. So, and that's a lot of work, because we, we grow a lot of, a lot of material. Uh, and then new material that comes online, we process those things also and put them in the repository. So that inventory is quite extensive. The part that I do down at the park, the botanic part is very, uh, very much fun for me, and that's what I kind of like to do. Uh, the tuber deal is is not because it's it's something that we have to do, but it's not the fun part. But it's what we do in the winter time, be able to have what we have in the summertime. What we basically do to do this, and, uh, and you can hand me that book too, also. Also, I brought this along for everybody to see. You know, we have a repository, and uh, this is my homework. I used to paid homework in high school and college, and I'm still doing it. But uh, this, is a, this is a book of the seed. This is a Brachycerus species. It's about anything you'd want in this book. And you 
you can see that we pack these seeds in these packets and we have them for the seed production. So this is what goes in the inventory that we send worldwide to people who want material that they don't have. Like uh, everybody knows about me when they built the, the story about the high Aswan high dam that they built in, in uh, Egypt. And they lost a lot of material in the deltas because the floods came up and killed the lilies because they can't grow in 20, 30, 40 foot of water. Uh, and cerulea would be very easy to grow, but they came to me for their seed for some reason. So uh, I got a phone call one day and the guy shows up and uh, finally shows up and I said, yeah, we have it over there and he said he's gonna do a handspring and cartwheel. But uh, we gave him about three million seed and he went and put them back to where they, where they wanted him. I could have told him in Africa where to go, but uh, it would have been much easier than coming over here. But uh, anyway, that's kind of a, here's the way we do the seed. You can look at this and see how they can open the package. You can see the packet that's in the packet. This is good for three years. And then you start all over. Uh, we're always emasculating the species and making sure that we keep them pure. Uh, and that's how we keep uh, such a, of course, I as chairman in the IWGS is the, the species individual. I uh, have to keep them straight and we have the largest collection in the world. IWPR keeps uh, about 90 known species, or 90% of the species that we, that we know of. Uh, some of the ones that we're close to losing, we make special effort that we throw them off at a different location other than the park to make sure that we have genuine material. But we do keep uh, a good sea cache of material. But we're here to talk about the tubers, and uh, I don't know